Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will discuss all the important topics of data structures. This is one of the most important subject of computer science and of course, uh, uh, all the topics are almost uh, important, but still there are some topics that should not be ignored when you go to the uh, exam. So last minute topics that you should revise are, let's pick uh, the major modules one by one and discuss their important topics. Now, the first uh, topic is array. So in array, basically I have pointed all these four important topics, but out of which any of the question can be asked in your exam. So there you can get a short note on sparse matrices. Basically, you need to explain what is sparse matrices, how it is represented. Also, you have to show the mathematical representation by uh, you know making the 2D matrix and its applications. Then the next topic is you should know the address calculation in 2D array. Though the two to uh, address calculation in 1D array is very, very easy. So there may there may be a chance that you will get a question on 2D array, right? With both the methods, row major and column major. So there be, will be a chance that you will get a numerical or you will be directly asked to explain both of them. Then you should also know the advantages and disadvantages of array. See advantages and disadvantages in terms of time complexity is required here. No theory things should be explained. Basically, you'll be telling that particular operations which are, uh, you know, with the help of which you have to explain those operations which will take less time will be the advantage and the operations which will take more time will be the disadvantage and also uh, the specification in terms of memory that in array the array memory is static. So it is fixed. It cannot be extended also. So that you need to explain uh, that we have covered very well in class. So refer that or I'll conduct. I'll uh, make another video for this. Then uh, the next important topic is array operations. There are different operations, though I have written very few operations here. Searching is also the operation that comes under array, but that is taken in other modules. See, if I talk about this module that is searching and sorting, these are also the operations of array, but they, they that is a complete module. That's why I have not discussed here. So, but uh, searching and sorting is also the operations of array. So you should know insertion, deletion, minimum and maximum in the array. And you have to explain the best case and worst case also. Like wh what will happen if you are inserting into an element in the starting or in the end or in between. Similarly, deletion in the end, beginning and uh, in between, right? And finding how much time it will take to find out the minimum and maximum uh, element. And for all these operations, you should also discuss the best and worst case if it is asked in exam. So in array, all the topics are very, very easy. If you have to just go through it once. Now coming to stack here in stack, uh, low, though there are a lot of topics in stack, but stack is one of the most important data structure in terms of its applications. So from stack, there are very, very high chance that you will get a question on the stack applications only instead of any other question. So sometimes they may ask you to explain push and pop uh, algorithms. So but their chances are very rare because this is very easy and uh, uh, they may not ask you hardly a two, three line uh, algorithm is there. So but still you should know that now stack. There can be a theory question that explain the stack applications or they can specifically give you any of the application. They may I might ask you to explain that application. Or there may be a numerical on that stack application if that is a numerical topic, right? Now let's understand parenthesis matching is also the application of stack. There can be a numerical as well as there can be a theory. So they can just ask you what is parenthesis matching, explain with the help of example, or they will be giving you giving you some expression, and you need to find out if that parent if that particular expression is having current uh, correct parenthesis order or not, and if not, how to resolve it. Then you can be asked a question on recursion. You have to explain recursion. Then you have to write a program. You can take Fibonacci or factorial program and you can write it with the help of recursion. And then you can also explain how for a function call, the function call is being placed in the stack with the help of the push operation and how when the function call function is being called and the operation is being performed, then that the same function call is popped out from the stack. So that stack implementation is very important. Just writing about recursion and the program is will not be giving you good marks. Now infix to postfix uh, expression is very important and its numericals are definitely going to come in the exam. One of the most 
most important topic in stack that cannot be ignored. But students take it very lightly and there are high chance that if you are given a complex expression, you might commit a mistake. Be careful about the precedence of the operators plus minus multiplication division. Then you have uh, exponent symbol, then you have brackets. So be careful about the ordering of the uh, operators, right? And then postfix evaluation. Again, this is also a numerical topic. You can be asked about postfix numeric uh, evaluation and you can be asked to solve a question for, for that. Right? <clears throat> so these two topics are very, very important. And then Tower of Hanoi is also important, but there is less chance that you'll get a numerical. You will be straight away being asked a short note on Tower of Hanoi. So also don't uh, keep it as a least priority topic. Do it properly. Right, so I can say that all these applications are very, very, very important, but then uh, uh, applications which are numerical based are these two and both of them are very, very important and practice fair good number of numericals for these two topics. Now coming to the third topic uh, module. Major topic that is Q. Now in Q, uh, this is one of the module which is completely theoretical. There is no chance that you will get any numerical question here. And uh, you are you are certainly not going to uh, being asked about linear Q because that is very easy. You will be either asked about the insertion operation in circular Q or deletion operation. NQ or DQ operation can be asked in circular Q and circular Q is very important. Now coming to priority Q and double ended Q, these are also important, but they can you will be only asked to write uh, theoretically uh, means uh, about these topics, short notes on these topics. So you have to explain what is priority Q, where it is used means the applications of priority Q and how uh, the operation is being performed on priority Q. So similarly, in double ended Q also, you will explain what is double ended Q, its principle and its applications and how the insertion and deletion is being performed there theoretically. Then uh, again, difference between linear and circular Q is very, very important. You should know what are the loopholes of linear Q because of which circular Q came into existence. So that you can do with the help of the example by making the linear Q as well as the circular Q. So uh, instead of writing theory, uh, better take an example for this. So in uh, Q, I would suggest that do all these topics uh, because all the questions are not going to come. There will be one or two questions from in uh, from these topics. Now coming to linked list. Again, this is a theoretical topic, but there are a lot of logics involved here when it comes to writing the algorithm in the linked list. So first of all, you should know the difference between calloc and malloc. You have already studied these functions in C programming also. You should also know the difference between static and dynamic memory allocation. That is also you have done in C programming. So these two are very, very important and theoretical topic. There may be a short note on these. OK, and there, there can be a question about advantages and disadvantages of linked list. See, advantages and disadvantages of both array and linked list are very, very important. And instead of just writing the theory, again, take some suitable example, both in array and linked list and explain how uh, it is going to be helpful and in which cases uh, it is you know, these particular data structures will not be used. So you have to specifically discuss the applications also and their uses also. And don't forget to discuss the time flow complexity for the different operations where uh, array and linked list is used in terms of their advantages and disadvantages. Now, insertion and deletion algorithm in linked list is very important. There are four type of linked list. You can be asked any of the linked list, but if you know one linked list, then you can do all the, then you can write the algorithms of all the linked list. So take one linked list. I will suggest lean, uh, you can take single linked list and perform all the insertion cases and deletion cases in insertion. You can insert any node in in the starting in the beginning or in the end or in between after a node or before a node or after a given value or before a given value or at a particular position and similarly deletion also you can delete any node from the beginning or from the end or in between right so these are the cases that you should know and i will definitely create a separate video for this so that you can uh, score good marks in this topic because most of the students are not good in writing the algorithms so this is important now coming to fifth module that is uh, now coming to fifth topic or you can say uh, one of the most important topic an easy topic is tree now in tree uh, i would suggest that out of all the topics never leave 
these three topics. See tree, graph and searching and sorting. They are the most important, easiest and you can say scoring topics of data structures. OK, let's discuss them one by one. You should know what are the tree traversal techniques. They are pre order, in order and post order. Most of the students are confused between tree travels and graph traversal techniques. If I am asking tree traversal, they will explain BFS and DFS. And if uh, graph traversal techniques are asked, they, they will explain this. So be careful. Tree structure is different and graph structure is different. So you should keep it in mind, right? So you can be given a tree and you have to write the pre-order, in order and post order. They are very easy, but students commit a mistake in post order. So be careful when you write the post order, right? Now you should also know the different types of tree. There will not be a theory question on the different types of tree, but there will be numericals that we have already discussed in the class. The different type of trees are simply simple binary tree or it can be strict binary tree or complete binary tree, full binary tree. Then you have these trees, binary search tree, avial trees and B trees. So you should know all the trees. Uh, you should know the representation of all the trees and what are the uses of those trees. You should know very well. OK, so you will get a numerical on this. For that also we will, uh, I am going to create a separate video. So now uh, you should know binary search tree. What is binary search tree and what is the basic criteria? You should know that the left subtree is always smaller than the root and right subtree is always greater than the root. And uh, you should know the relationship, right? You have to explain that very well. And then you should know how to insert the elements in the BST and also the deletion. And in deletion, we have discussed in class that there are three cases. If you delete a node which is having no child, and delete, deleting a node having one child and deleting a node having three, two children. So be careful about that. OK, now also in avial tree, you have to discuss what is avial tree, why we are using avial tree, right? They are also called as self balancing trees and we use the balancing factors here and we do insertion and deletion. What is the need of this avial tree when we have BST that you should know? OK, then we have B tree. In B tree also, you should know the concept of B tree and then insertion and deletion operation in B tree. And you should also know the A characteristics of both avial tree and B tree. Fine. So in tree, I would suggest don't leave any topic. All of them are very, very important. Theoretically as well as logically. Both all the topics are very important. Now coming to graph. In graph, first uh, theoretical topic can be graph representation techniques. You have to represent a graph with adjacency matrix and adjacency list. Take a small graph of four to five nodes and better make uh, the representation of th that graph in both the ways. OK, then we have graph traversal techniques. We have BFS breadth for search and DFS depth for search. For breadth for search, we use Q and for depth for search, we use tag. And there can be a numerical question on this that you will be given a graph and you have to uh, you may be also given the starting uh, index of the starting node of the given uh, graph and you have to write the BFS and DFS also. Be, uh, and see one more important point is there can be more than one BFS and DFS also. DFS order also, so don't worry about that if you get a different answer. OK, difference between BFS and DFS. Students are good in writing the BFS and DFS order, but they are not very clear about the difference between BFS and DFS. And when it comes in exam that you have to explain the difference. So at least three to four difference should be there and those difference should be to the point with proper explanation and examples. OK, now here you can get a short note or a theoretical question on connected component or graph. Similarly, in spanning trees also there can be a theory question. What is spanning tree and you can be given a graph and you have to draw the different spanning trees also. OK, then you should know the concept of minimum spanning tree and you have to also calculate the minimum spanning tree cost. That can be done with the help of minimum spanning tree algorithms. That is Kruskal's algorithm and Prince algorithm. So for sure, you're going to definitely going to get a question on this. So you can be given a graph and you need to find out the MST cost either with the help of Kruskal or Prince algorithm. OK, so I would say in graph, the most most important topic is be, uh, this uh, BFS DFS and then you I can say the minimum span tree. But still, I would say that don't leave any topping in graph also. It's very, very easy. In one hour, you can complete the whole module. Now coming to searching and sorting. See, searching and sorting is though the most important also, logical also. But I would not say that it is that easy, right? 
so there are so, so much of sorting algorithms that students get confused and they at the place of bubble sort they are explaining insertion sort at the place of insertion sort they are explaining selection sort right and even students are very very confused between the best case and worst case also so i would suggest that spend good time on the searching and sorting and before you go to the exam last one hour dedicate for searching and sort sorting only so that it is fresh in your mind and the moment you go to the exam you can appear it very well okay so you should know the difference between linear search and binary search again uh, the difference should be very clear at least three to four differences with example proper explanation to the point okay binary search working is very important if you are given a list of elements and you need to perform that particular algorithm that algorithm working is very important so be careful about that and also the worst case time complexity analysis of boards binary search that is order, order of log n base 2 so that is very important that we have already discussed in the class and uh, you can refer that insertion sort in detail insertion sort quick sort and merge sort all these three sorting algorithms are very very important because these are the favorite questions of the of almost all the examiners of different college and universities okay so you can get one out of them but you have to do all the three but i wouldn't say that you leave the other uh, sorting algorithms that is your call okay you can choose you can do all of them but i am here going to discuss only the important topics so that's why i am saying focus on these three but don't leave the other topics also okay now you should also know the best case and worst cases of bubble sort and insertion sort because they are very very similar in working the best and worst cases of bubble sort uh, and insertion sort of uh, are almost similar so that is why the examiner wants to confuse and they can give you this also okay chale and here you will be given some list of elements that you have to sort by using the work, working of this algorithm so detail explanation required in these cases also in binary search also okay so again i am saying highly recommended module but also revise it one hour before your exam so that it can be in your mind for a longer time when you go to the exam now hashing is also very very important topic but it depends is it if it is a complete module in your syllabus or just a simple theory topic so if it's just a simple theory topic then you can just write one to one and a half page is explaining about what is hashing and its need and the different techniques but wise there are important topics in hashing is why do we need hashing and the different hashing techniques and the uh, concept collision and the different techniques to resolve collision okay so this was all about uh, the important topics and other important topics can be file organization methods and primary or secondary indexing so that can be short note okay so out of the complete syllabus of data structure in short i would say that uh, advantages and disadvantages of array and its operations are very important then stack applications from stack and in q everything is important so i won't suggest any particular topic in link list uh, you should again know the advantages and disadvantages and the insertion deletion algorithms in link list in tree graph and searching i have already jotted the main uh, topics so oh, please don't leave anything from this because you might get any question so and all the this is very very easy also okay so the, these were the important topics all the very best for your exam but again your representation your how you are going to represent your answer is also very important sometimes you know the concepts but you don't know how to represent the question and that is a challenge because of which you secure less marks so i'll create a different video where i'll suggest you how to score good marks in your written exams theory exams so that's all for today thank you so much